Marvel Legends, Target Exclusive, Venom Space Knight, Mania 2-Pack. Let's get it. What is up, my peeps? Chinooka Big Rucker back at you again with another action figure review. What we got going on today is a Target exclusive. was just uh, released this past week as of this recording. We are talking about the uh, Target exclusive Venom Space Knight Mania 2-Pack. Yes, indeed. If anybody knows about Venom Space Knight, you remember that it was previously a builder figure from a few years ago and uh, a trend that Hasbro has been doing lately is in some form or fashion, whether it be retro card back, single release or two pack style like we have here, they've been re-releasing the builder figures. Um, they're essentially as they were then, but with some changes. Sometimes it's just deco. Um, other times it'll be deco combined with uh, additional uh, accessories that didn't uh, that were not provided the first go round, like maybe different head sculpts and what have you. You could see right here on the packaging if you're looking at uh, Venom, he's already sporting a different uh, head sculpt on the packaging right there whereas if you see uh my boy peeking out there on our left that's the original style head that we got with venom and that was all we got um in fact that's how he came he came with no accessories he came the way um the way you see him and we'll see him when we of course get him um up close and personal a little bit later with uh maybe some um some slight alterations to the uh, what little paint the uh, Venom figure has on it. Uh, so the highlight, more or less, despite the fact that it's the smaller figure, would be Mania. New character, and uh, yeah, that's something to, uh, to, uh, to aspire to, especially since this particular uh, new character we essentially have, for all intents and purposes, a new buck because this is uh, smaller than the typical female buck and it's sporting the uh, the new um the new buck requirements that we have you know the uh, the pinless tech uh but we'll see that too when we get that up close and uh in personal so uh you see the packaging you've got the uh digital renders of the figures with some artwork behind I just knocked her over a little bit, but that's okay. We've got the Venom logo right there on the uh, the top. In order to get all of the side artwork in frame, I've had to tilt it, but you can see what we got going on right there. It looks very nice. And on the flip, we have more digital renders of the figures. And on the rear, we have more digital renders of the figures. You see that... Uh, Venom comes with some accessories, which we'll investigate momentarily. Mania just comes with Mania. So here we have our Venom symbiote connection going on. We've got Space Knight Venom, and of course we've got Mania. And uh, you see what we got going on. Obviously, they're both in black. And, of course, they've got the white highlights. That's a typical Venom motif. Mania, she's got the spiky thing going on all over the place. Her wrists, her wrist guards, I should say. And uh, just the, the her gloves, period. Everything is spiky. Um, and trust and believe that uh, is problematic. They're not uh, all that soft, so you will be uh, pricking yourself when you uh, attempt to pose her. As for Venom, we've seen him before, especially looking like this, and uh, I'm anxious to get on that other head sculpt to see the difference. And uh, we will compare this Venom with the previous Builder figure. All right, so now that we've got Space Knight Venom off the base, 
let's take a, a closer look. As I stated before, this is the same exact figure that we got uh, a few years ago, the same exact builder figure, um, if you will, that we got a few years ago. Of course, being that it is Venom, you only have uh, a few colors, very, very few to deal with. It's molded in black and it's painted white. The uh, Everything you see white there is, of course, painted on. And because this is uh, Space Venom and he was a part of the Guardians of the Galaxy, turn him to the side there, he's got the uh, Guardians logo on either shoulder there. And uh, you see uh, the paint apps on the uh, the tops of the hands and everywhere else. So, like I said, this is basically the same. In order to uh, be able to uh, check out the differences, we have to have both the old and the new side by side. And so that's what we have here. And uh, the only differences really would be our newer Space Knight Venom is on a uh, a uh, shinier black mold, if you will. And uh, if you look at the whites, I think it's it's not too discernible uh, in on camera. But looking at it live, I can tell you that the whites are definitely a different shade. The uh, the white on the uh, two-pack Venom is more, uh, I would have to say, uh, pearlescent, I guess. It's uh, brighter, definitely brighter. You could see that uh, in person. I don't know if it translates well uh, on camera. I'm hoping it does. Uh, I do... Uh, record in 4k and then have it compressed down to uh, 1080p and uh, they seem to uh, look pretty nice doing it that way uh, the other difference would be as I turn them profile style would be the shades on their respective emblems the two-pack Venom uh, its emblem is a darker blue of course the uh, silhouettes on both are black but that's really really all you're gonna get I'll turn you to the rear and um, I guess one other thing that can be mentioned too would be the line work uh, the line work on the uh, two-pack venom is a little bit thicker especially when you go down and look at the uh, the the, uh, the cabs there they're uh, filled in a little bit uh, darker too so you do have that there is that uh, equation there but basically everything else is the same even the um the patches on the uh, tops of the hands so but that's really basically it they're the same so what uh what differentiates our new Venom from the old big, uh, excuse me, build fig would be the included head sculpt and attachments, which you see uh, on display right here. I uh, I uh, kind of remember doing the same thing with a symbiotic character uh, some time ago, where uh, the difference were the attachments. And uh, head sculpt. I can't recall if it was Venom or if it was uh, someone else. We've got so many uh, symbiotes now um, starting to lose track. But uh, you see the uh, attachments uh, here. And that is, uh, those are the differences. This is what makes this uh, set uh, for some worth getting. For others, it's not enough to double dip. You guys that have rocked with me, you know what time it is with me. I'm a neurotic completionist so you know I was gonna get it here we take a closer look at that head sculpt and uh, yeah this it's it's pretty sick they have the teeth and uh, I mean Venom whether you think he's good or bad and keep in mind this iteration of Venom is uh, hosted by Flash Thompson of Spider-Man fame so, uh, you know, he's not, uh, he doesn't have the, uh, the troubled 
history of Eddie Brock. So um, this is this is entirely a a Clintar. That's uh, the, uh, the the official name for the symbiote species. That this is a Clintar thing with the uh, the, the teeth and the uh, sinister looking grins. But uh, yeah, this is uh, how he looks. Get some profile shots there. It's like I said. It's uh, it's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Seeing how this is a builder figure, essentially from years past, and uh, we've seen this this body mold before, we should be familiar with the articulation scheme. But since we always get new uh, entries to uh, the collector core and hopefully to this channel, um, we will, for the uninitiated, go through it for them. So the head, you're not going to get much movement, but the head is on a uh, ball hinge. So it will look up that far as far as looking down. That's cool. Considering how tall Venom is, he needs to be able to look down on most of uh, the people he confronts. As far as the arms, he can get his arms up to a uh, pretty decent T-pose right there. Be careful, though, with the rubbing. Of course, you can 360 it. He's got a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. These the big guys, that's usually what time it is with them. So it's definitely a builder figure, but uh, stick that back in there. He's got the uh, wrist hinge horizontal, and of course, they swivel. That's on both sides there. Ab crunch. He can crunch forward this much, but he wants to like semi spring back up going back you're not going to get much that was the same with the build a figure too one thing that isn't the same with the build a figure is he's not uh he's not uh flimsy down there whereas with the build a figure who I'll bring in for this just so you can see what I'm talking about you see all that yeah clicking and everything like that so uh, at least we got that going on he does have waist articulation, hips, he can spread them that far out. He can go blaze basically a 90, get it uh, back there that far. He does have the thigh cut and he has double jointed pinned knees. Once again, this is from uh, years past. There is no uh, thigh cut to speak of. He can point his toe that far forward. Very nice ballerina style. Get it up that much. He does have ankle pivot. And of course, you know what time it is. Holes. Pickles at the bottom of his feet. Next up, we we'll take a look at Mania. And uh, Mania isn't known to many because uh, she's a relatively newer character in the uh, Marvel mythos, the Marvel Universe. Um, she is, a, you can obviously you can see, you know, symbiote affiliated. Uh, I'm not going to get crazy in deep for uh, time length uh, considerations, but this symbiote is basically, believe it or not, a clone of the Venom symbiote. It was hosted by uh, a previous uh, female and uh, currently hosted by uh, the host name is uh, Andy with an I Andy Benton and um, there's a uh, you know there there's a whole story behind that but like I said for the sake of uh, time constraints we won't get into it just let it be known that uh, the key uh, things you should know is that it's a clone of uh, Venom's uh, symbiote and that the uh, host is uh, Andy Benton. So there you have it. As far as our figures concerned, as I stated before, this is a, uh, basically it's the uh, female teenage buck or what will now be, I'm assuming, the female teenage buck. It is uh, smaller than your uh, average female. Uh, let me grab Lady Bullseye real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Stand them further away. 
and you can see that uh, Lady Bullseye is definitely bigger. But the great thing is that they're both rocking pinless, you name it. So that's the good thing. Put uh, my girl back and uh, get back to uh, Mania here. Mania, another thing, Mania used to be known as Maniac, the Maniac clone. But uh, it got uh, reduced down to just Mania. So there you have it. But uh, looking at our girl Mania, of course, the typical black and white with the uh, the spider uh, logo and, of course, the eyes. You see she's got the spiky thing going on. Look at that head sculpt, bananas. And then she's uh, rocking a loose uh, uh, spike belt. You can see the uh, spike uh, wrist bands or bracelets, if you will. And then, of course, the armbands, they're also spiky. And they've got like a hint of purple in them. Same thing with her boots, her knee-high boots. They've got a purplish type of hue to them as well. The boots are black. And then in the back, you've got the uh, spider logo looking real nice, continuing that way. And, uh, yeah, nothing else really to speak of uh, about that. In terms of her articulation, her head is on a ball hinge, so she could look up pretty decently, I might add. She can look down. She can give you a little bit of attitude with the tilt, and of course she can 360 it as far as the shoulders are concerned. She could do more than a T-pose, which is cool. She can uh, rotate 360. And because we've got the new arms, she's got a bicep swivel as well as double jointed pinless elbows. So she can get it in very nicely that way. She has a rotating wrist hinge and they are horizontal both sides. And uh, as far as her torso is concerned, she, she's got the uh, diaphragm. And you know what problems you're going to run into that with the females especially. Not going to be able to really go forward too much, if any at all. Going back is not that much better, but at least it's noticeable. So you do have that. She can lean with it, rock with it, and of course rotate. With the hips, she can split them that far forward. She can get 90 degrees. She can move her uh, leg back a little bit like that. She's got the thigh cut. She's got double jointed pin, pin list, excuse me, knees, and uh, that was pretty easy. I guess I uh, broke it in because I was killing myself off on these spikes earlier. She can point her toe forward that far. That uh, go up like that. She's got the ankle pivot, and the nature of her boots makes it nicely easy for her to stand. And of course, she too has holes, peg holes at the bottom of her feet. We do have a couple female symbiotes in the bunch. We've got Agony and right here we've got Scream. I decided to use Scream as a comparison for Mania. Mania doesn't have uh, any other um, black and white female symbiotes really to match her up with. So I decided to go with Scream because being uh, bright yellow, it's a nice contrast to the uh, the black that is Mania's get up. So wrapping up this review of the Marvel Legends Target exclusive Space Knight Venom Mania 2 pack. It's a very nice 2 pack uh, for a couple reasons. If you missed out on getting the Builder figure before, there's your chance to get it now along with another head sculpt and uh, additional accessories, attachments for um, his arms. And uh, definitely that head sculpt is uh, is on in, in Kraken for sure. Plus, you get a new character, which is Mania. And of that leads, that segues into the second thing. Those of you that uh, already do have Space Knight Venom, the builder figure, you get another character uh, if you get this two-pack, if you choose to double dip. Now, that may not be enough. A new character plus new head and uh, attachments so um, you may refrain from doing that but uh, those of you who uh, are intrigued by getting the new character mania specifically um, because 
uh, it is a new character, but then you also have the uh, added benefit of it is a new female uh, teenage buck, and she's sporting pinless elbows and knees, and that's always great. So hopefully we'll see that uh, more of that in the future. As far as uh, Space Knight Venom, once again, that head sculpt is on a crack, and you get two head sculpts that comes out of package with the uh, standard head sculpt that we... Uh, have seen before with the builder figure plus you get this uh, toothy grin style which is just I mean this is on and cracking right here uh, I'm glad we got this because it gives me the opportunity space providing I can now um, display both obviously the uh, builder figure has got the uh, original standard head and we've got this this is definitely getting displayed with this head for sure so uh, let me know what you guys think. What are your uh, thoughts, your opinions? What are you going to do in regards to this uh, two-pack? Remember, it's at Target. The hidden Target's now. Um, it's, if you go get it today, today's Saturday, as of the recording of this, so I believe it's the last day. If you get it today, October, I believe this is the 28th. Could be wrong about that. Anyway, if you uh, get in... Today, I believe uh, they've got an offer where you can get 25% off of this two-pack. It normally uh, uh, goes for $55.99. You could walk out the door paying about $42, $43 bucks for this thing. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, we love subscriptions here at this channel. So subscribe. We also love likes. Give a thumbs up to the video. And uh, also comment, as I already mentioned, subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, hit that notification bell while you're down there as well. And that's how it gets done.